Hi folks, hope you're well. As you've probably seen, we're looking to open up shortly. We've got a risk assessment in place and we've got some procedures to follow just to make sure we don't spread the virus, that everyone who comes to activities is safe and that we can continue running activities throughout the summer. In the first instance, what we've got running is single household activity sessions, which is a 90 minute session and an activity of your choice that we offer here at Baby Moon. Then we've also got 10 wild activity days planned over the summer. If you want to watch this short video, it's got some details and some information about what you'll do when you arrive and some of the changes we've had to make to make sure that we can run activities safely. See you soon. The first change we've made is a new meeting point. We've got signage on the gate of the garden area near the car park at Baby Moon. As you went to the car park, the garden is to the left hand side. You can see the banner and you can see our signage straight in front of you here. A lot of the guidance tells us that hand hygiene is really important. There's antibacterial gel available, so please use it on arrival and throughout the session. We've created this disclaimer. It's a short statement to say what we can do and what you can do to make sure we all stay safe. It's been sent to you upon booking and it's on the participant information form that we should have received. It's also displayed at the meeting point. Take a couple of minutes, just have a read through. If you're dropping your children off, we ask parents to, once they've dropped them off at the meeting point, please go back and wait with your cars so we don't have a big group of people gathering around the meeting area. For those of you to come in, we're asking to avoid this area and this gateway, as this is going to be reserved purely for Baby Moon residents. Toileting is one of the biggest risks we've identified in relation to coronavirus. We've agreed with Baby Moon that we've got the right-hand cubicle of the right-hand toilet, and we've put a sign on it so everyone knows that that's for us to use. We're only allowed one person in the toilet. That's not the cubicle, that's in the toilet. And that includes residents of Baby Moon. The exception to this is if you're a parent and you're accompanying a small child to the toilet. However, we would encourage you to go to the toilet before you arrive, especially if you're only coming for one of the 90-minute single household activity sessions. Believe it or not, in the guidance, it asks that you put the toilet seat down before you flush and that you use some cleaning wipes to wipe around any surfaces that you've touched, particularly toilet handles and the door and lock of the cubicle itself. Each toilet has two sinks, but these have been designated for the people who are staying at Baby Moon to use during their stay. Instead, we've set up a hand washing station in the field. For this, we're going to use a two stage approach. First of all, we'll use the soap and water to wash our hands, drying our hands on the paper towel that's available once the hands are dry, we'll then use more sanitising gel to make sure we've killed the bacteria. Once you wash your hands, we'll discard the water from your bowl and use fresh water for the next person. As you see, there's three bowls here, but please only have one person at this hand washing station at any one time so we can still maintain social distance. And now for the fun stuff in the forest, which ultimately is the reason why we've come and why we're taking these steps to ensure our safety. If you're going to use any tools or do any activities that will require you to wear work gloves, please use hand sanitizer before you do so. You may wish to bring your own work gloves, and if you do, please make sure they are work gloves, not insulating gloves, because they need to be tougher and more robust. Throughout sessions, we may periodically use cleansing wipes to clean down any tools that have been used communally. It just takes a couple of minutes, and we'll do this, or if you want to do it, you're more than welcome to do so. For activities with shared equipment, as well as sanitising the hands before we start, we will also periodically clean the tools with cleansing wipes. This does mean that activities like archery and rifle shooting, because of the more time consuming and detailed cleaning needed for those pieces of equipment, they will be limited to single household activity sessions only. In the camps, we're confident we can maintain a two metre social distance between people. Because we're in the fresh air and we're not face to face, the one metre plus rule actually applies. For any parents coming to pick up children, either from a birthday party or a wild activity day, we ask you please to remain in the car park by your vehicles rather than coming down into the forest or to the camps. This is to make sure we don't have a gathering in the forest, but also so we do not interrupt people who are staying on site at Baby Moon. As we make our first tentative steps of getting back to activities after this period of restriction, if you've got any questions or queries, thoughts or suggestions, please do get in touch.